This is making me nervous, but this is the right thing to do. Hi, I'm Ree from mummy4.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another little vlog for you. Um, my first job is to make the bed. I finally managed to kick my husband out of bed. I left it in the right mouth. So I'm going to get all this made because I do like to get the bed made first thing in the morning. I feel like we have achieved something. Isn't that right, Zara? Isn't that right? Isn't that right? We've got lots to do today. Um, it's the first time all week I haven't got up to work before the children. I think I was just feeling like burning the candle at both ends a little bit. So normally we'd be getting up like half past five to just kind of get stuff done. And today, I just didn't. Now I may regret that life choice later when I haven't got enough work done. But do you know what? Sometimes you've got to kind of listen to your body a little bit, I think, and just go, no. I am actually gonna have a little bit more sleep. Today we have got quite a lot on. We've got homeschool. We've got to have a little chat about returning to school because there was an announcement yesterday. Today is Thursday the 4th of June, I think. Yesterday, the Welsh Assembly announced school reopening dates. So I wanna have a little chat about that later and about all that kind of stuff. Also, later on today, Zara has her immunizations. I'm gonna explain how we're gonna do all that and why we're still going ahead with it, even in this kind of weird time. So on top of that, we've still got cleaning to do, we've got sorting to do, we've got laundry to do, we've got just getting it all done. We're gonna just gonna get it all done. Anyway, before we carry on with the day, if you are new here, welcome. Please subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. I do lots of vlogs, hauls, cleaning videos, parenting tips, tricks, hacks, and advice, all that kind of stuff. I hope you will enjoy it. Now I'm gonna have to put this camera down so I can make this bed properly because I am failing to do it with one hand. So this is just my homemade fabric refresher. I will link how to make that. Zara, you found a different hairband. That one doesn't actually match, does it, baby? No. no. Do you think we can find one that's... Dress. It matches your Into the Unknown dress, but you're not wearing an Into the Unknown dress. You're wearing this dress, aren't you? Which I mean, colours are on this dress? I told you you could find a hairband with any of those colours in it. And you did choose one. And now you chose a different one. <laughs> Didn't you? I like that colour. You like that colour. Okay, well, I guess I could just pick my battles here. And you also like looking at yourself in the mirror, don't you? Yes. And look, you're matching mummy today. No. Yeah, I think we'll do that as long as... We can get away with it, won't we? Yeah. Before you think it's sad. Is at the top of my candle. Is it? We are going to have to brush your hair though because it's looking a bit like you've been dragged through a hedge backwards. Off the bed, Mummy just made that bed, darling. <laughs> Do you want to sit on Mummy's chair? You sit on Mummy's chair and I'll brush your hair, okay? I want to sit like... You want to sit like that? Okay. I mean, you probably should have sat on the cushion, not under it, but uh, there we go. Oh, look, you can't even see in the mirror because she's so little. <laughs> if you kneel up, you might be able to see. There we go, is that better? Can you see now? Can you see? You can't see. You have got very lovely hair, Zara. Haven't you? Can do it like this. Can you? Should we go and do your room now and tidy your room? Yeah. Should we go and tidy I your room? I need to get my, my bed wet. You mean you want me to spray it so it smells nice? Okay, come on then, let's go and tidy up. Before we go and check on the children's rooms, I just wanted to show you this. Um, I had a suggestion to buy one of these from a couple of you actually. And then we did a little poll on my Instagram stories between this one and another one. And we went for it and I'm quite pleased with it actually. So I will link that below if you are looking for a light fitting but overall I think it kind of complements the room quite well. Alexa turn dressing table off. 
Baby. Oh, she listens. She doesn't always listen. Baby. Right, guys, let's go and check on your rooms and see how tidy or not they are. It's a bit dark and dingy today, isn't it, guys? Um, Bella. Uh, what's going on with your bed, baby? Um, 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 I forgot to make it. Do you think, I mean, I'll help you, but do you think we could make it? Because we cannot go down to homeschool and leave it like that, can we? No. Do you think we can? Yeah. You think we can leave it like that? No. No. Come on then, let's get it done. Do you want, is Zara going to help too? Yeah. What do we have to do first then? Let's take all the bits and pieces off and we'll sort it out. Let's all help together. Can be sharp, cut me close to the heart, but we can master the art. And the thing is that these scars are scary. That's really good work, Bella. You do like arranging your dollies, yeah, yeah, don't you? Yeah. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Zara, should we go and see your room? Well, I'm going to leave you to finish tidying up in here. You're doing a really good job. Zara, come with mummy. Come on, let's go and have a look in your room. Oh dear. I'm thinking, oh, okay. Right, so this, this could do with a bit of a blitz, couldn't it? And obviously she hasn't made a bed because, you know, she's three. Right, let Zara come and help mummy. We'll get this room sorted and we'll go down for breakfast. Come and help mummy. Come on. I think we're going to need some light in here, aren't we? Ugh. I can't believe how dingy it's gone. Bella, good folding. Well done. Balcony. Right, come on. It's a balcony, is it? What? Why is it a balcony? It's a magical balcony. All right. Okay. Well, I think that maybe isn't we'll. Where the balcony goes, it goes down here. Why do you need a balcony? I don't understand. That does not look like a balcony. Okay, you need a balcony in case your baby falls. I see. It's very nice. William, is your room nice and tidy in your bed, mate? At uh, Gillies. Gillies. Right. Come on. Let's tidy this up, shall we? Sarah, why are we screaming? Bella's just trying to help you. Uh, why are we crying? Why are you crying? my bed like that. You want your bed like a mess? Oh. Well, I'm sure you'll mess it up again later. It'll be fine. Oh, my God. Do you, want to, do you need a cuddle? No. Because fake crying is just it makes you look really sad. No. Baby. Are you going to show everyone your range of faces? Show everyone your saddest face you can do. Shh. Do your now, dinosaur face. can you do your happy face? <laughs> Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. That took a while to recover no, from. Not no. the saddest face. Saddest face. <laughs> Happy face. Saddest face. <laughs> Angry face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, surprised well, face. On the bed. It's just oh. And I love my mummy face. I love my mummy. <laughs> That's not a lot of faces at all. Right, come on. We do still need to finish making this bed so we can go down for breakfast. Come on. Oh, sorry. Get there in the end. No, my floor will be on you. Well, you're doing a really good job folding. Really good job. It's one of my children wants things to be tidy. Zara. Listen, darling, we've got to start the day with the room tidy because no. otherwise if we just let it sort of descend into chaos so at the beginning, you won't be able to see the floor by the night. Afternoon. Is your room done now, darling? You can make uh, yeah. Yeah. I made my bed. Good Didn't boy. Didn't really get out much. I was just thinking what to do. Yeah. I see. Well, we're, well, we're going to go down for breakfast now. Just as soon as Zara's room is tidy. Can you help Mummy by picking some of these bits up off the floor, well? Baby. Good boy. Everyone, good job everyone mucking in. I mean, other than Zara. Fold this. Yeah. Zara's <laughs> often more of a hindrance than a help when it comes to tidying. Zara, yeah. I know. Should we sing the tidy up song? <laughs> did it, did it, did it, did it. Who will tidy up when I say go? Go! Come on, make it a race. Come on. We have to, whoever tidies the most wins. Oh, good idea. Whoever tidies the most wins. Ah, frantic tidying. Do you want to well win? Done, well. Does it try and win? I'm going to win. Oh, are you going to win, Zara? Quick.
just finished charging up this bed and then we'll go down for breakfast. Of course, there's one more thing I have to do before everyone has breakfast and that is put on some laundry. You know I like everyone to start the day by putting on a load because then it's done, isn't it? It's out the way and the clothes washing's happening while you're doing other things. Honestly, a load a day will change your life. Go and put one on now. Everything just falls apart So I just close my eyes And dream about Our kids and how They're running around Won't you come and lay down Next to me Close your eyes And we'll be free I'll keep my head high While we're crossing the land With all the minds we camera battery is about to die so I'm going to show you very quickly my system for camera batteries and what I've got is I've got these little stickers on them because I've got four and then I just rotate them in rainbow order if that makes sense so I have the the red then I've got a yellow blue then purple and then I rotate them to make sure they all get used equally and I know I've always got charged batteries so I'm going to swap this over now before my camera dies right we'll grab the toothbrushes and the toothpaste We've actually got toothbrushes and toothpaste down here as well. And this is mainly because when um, the children start back to school, it's just not worth after breakfast traipsing back upstairs, clean the teeth, back downstairs. It's just a whole other palaver. It takes all the extra minutes, which we need all the extra minutes when it comes to sort of school runs and things, isn't it? So, right, pop these over here, guys. Come and clean your teeth. Are your children a bit funny with toothpaste. Zara was struggling to wean her off anything other than milk teeth. So I need another toothpaste that tastes like that, but it's for bigger girls. Cause you are older than two, aren't you? But will you try the strawberry one? Strawberry's nice. Just smell the strawberry toothpaste. What do you think? Will you try brushing your teeth with that? No. It smells like You want milk teeth. William's the only one that's good with toothpaste now, aren't you? And you were always my fussiest one. So I do have high hopes they'll all get that. You love it. Excellent. Could you clean your teeth with it then, please, darling? Because we've got to start home school. Let's not eat it like like jam. Oh. Right. Can you manage, Bella, or do you need help? Good girl. Well done. Good girl. Saz, let me see your teeth. Are they shiny and clean? I mean, you've got toothpaste all over your face. We also need to put a bit more cream on your face, don't we? Sarah's so face has been so much better, but it still goes a little bit dry. And what happens when it goes dry? What do you do to it? What do you do? You pick it, don't you? and lick it I know but if you stop licking it and picking it we're just gonna put a little bit of cream on it and then it goes away because your face is so beautiful you're cleaning your teeth what a good girl William you doing yours yeah good boy good boy well don't worry right let's get our teeth clean nice and quickly guys because we've got to start homeschool so I'm gonna get the children set up with their home learning and then we'll have a little chat about the whole return to school thing and what we're doing and all that kind of stuff. No, right, Bella, let's have a look at what you've got to do. So Bella gets, they get set their online learning through an app and then what I do is I print off Bella's. Each class, they're kind of doing it in their own format. So Bella's is here and I've printed it off. We've just got to look at what hasn't been ticked so far. Okay, let's have some Hungry Caterpillar is Bella's book of the week and that's what most of her work is based on. So um, we're actually doing a lot of Hungry Caterpillar work for Zara too. Right, Zara's, oh hang on, you've got an art activity to do. This week we're going to make a Hungry Caterpillar of our own. In the story, the caterpillar gets bigger. Um, so use the template to make a caterpillar. First colour him, then fold the paper to make him grow before your eyes. Upload a photo to your app. 
Right, so that's, so that's what we'll do. Zara, you can do that activity too. So, nice art We've activity. We've got to print one out. I will have to print it out, darling, and, and um, colour it in. So I'll do that in a second. Right, so that is Bella's activity. Yeah. Um, William, what have you got to do, darling? I'm doing... I'm doing some spag work. Yeah. What's what? spag work? Oh, it's basically, it's like, so spelling, punctuation, something else. Spag, I totally knew that. So, and, I, something else in grammar. Spelling, punctuation. I've forgotten one, I've forgotten her and... Ah. I should know that, shouldn't and I? Then, As your home tutor, clearly not cut out to be a teacher. Oh dear, doing our best, though, aren't we? We're doing our best. Some of my work is here. Yes. So right. I'm going to print this stuff off, get them started off, and we'll have a chat. Right, girlies. Let's have some beautiful caterpillars, and then we'll fold them up to make them smaller and bigger. Um, if you I haven't really got one of these, by the way, and you want to grab one, I will link it below. Okay, um, we're loving it for homeschooling, but also he for homework green. and stuff. He's, he's green. green. So you're going to make him the same as that, or are you going to do I like a rainbow one, one like Zara? I'm doing a rainbow. Well, a rainbow caterpillar is probably better. Yeah. So, where yeah. are we in our day? We're here at the moment. Focus learning, then playtime. Then most days we attempt a bit more learning here, not necessarily for the whole time, and this isn't necessarily the whole time to be honest. We try and do some learning here, some learning here, then lunch and play. And then sometimes this is quiet learning, sometimes it's just play, and then sometimes we do a bit of crafts and things here. But we like to have a bit of an outline in the structures of the day. I think it's going to help when they do return to school, whenever that may be, and we'll talk about that in a second, that we've stuck to some shape of routine. What is it, darling? Colours. We can. Caterpillar. You can. Well, you could do one. That's it. So you do one the same and one rainbow. Is that? That would be lovely. So lovely. Is what spelled wrong? Wrong, darling. Illusionist. I think that one's right, actually. What about Okay, so the children are kind of set up. I am going to finish my little drink and actually have some breakfast of my own. Uh, now, a few of you have asked me to do a what I eat in a day video and I totally will do that. Not today, I totally will. Although I have been filming what I eat in a week, what we eat in a week video, eating the meals. Um, so that will be out after this video anyway. Um, if you're watching this video sometime in the future, it's already out. But uh, if you are watching this video kind of like live when it comes out, that video is coming your way very soon. Um, but a lot of you have asked about these, um, which I do eat for breakfast every day. Soft my finger. Basically, said, this is the one I normally have for breakfast. There's various flavours and things. But they are exactly my replacement bars. And I find if I eat one of these for breakfast, because it's high in protein, it's got 27 vitamins and minerals apparently, um, then it just keeps me full for longer and it means I'm less starving. If I have cereal or something, I find mid morning I get a yeah, crash. I just get really, really hungry, and then I eat some rubbish, and then the whole day goes a bit pear shaped, and then it's not going to be anything. So, if I um, eat these, I find they keep me on track a little bit better. Um, and my willpower is a little bit like phone battery, it starts off in the morning like really great. But then, the sooner the, the willpower and the battery diminishes, the more pear shaped my day goes, eating wise. So, these are how to keep me on track. I have worked with this company before, and I am an affiliate for them. But I do genuinely use their products, and so that's why I'm quite happy to recommend them. So this this is not an ad, although technically I suppose I have to call it an ad. Anyway, it's not an ad. I just want to share that I do actually use them. And um, I was sent these to try as well, which are the burst drinks, which I am loving. These are supposed to sort of give you a bit of a, an energy kind of boost, and I am loving them. It's a bit of an alternative to Diet Coke for me. Actually, no, I don't drink tea or coffee. The only, I, I just, I'm just not fast on it and I'd have to ram it full of sugar in order to make it tolerable. I know it's a very unpopular opinion, but I don't, I never really have. So, the, this is my kind of morning combo at the moment, which I'm enjoying. Anyway, I need to talk about something else quite important, didn't I? And that's the school situation. Anyway, I'm just going to set you guys down over here so we can have a little chat. Today is Thursday the 4th of June. And yesterday, the Welsh Assembly, yes, we live in Wales, um, 
made an announcement that on the 29th of June, the schools are reopening for all year groups. I'm still not sure if that counts Zara as well because she is in Horizon 3's nursery, so it's not compulsory education. So does that mean all compulsory education? Because actually keeping nursery off their only half day would free up some more staff to work in the rest of the school. So I don't know. I will I'll confirm when I know more. How do I feel about it? I've had lots and lots of people ask me, will I be sending the children back on the 29th? And the whole honest answer is I would love to, but I need more information first. So one thing that makes me a little bit nervous, just a little underinformed, and I urge you to speak to your individual child school is that obviously the government are going, here is some guidance and there will be some more guidance issued next week. But from what I can gather, all the schools are kind of doing the wrong thing. So they've been told that there'll be a maximum of a third of children in it at a time. So how will that look? Because the week doesn't divide evenly into three. So I don't know how that will work. So will, will they all just be in part time? Will they all be starting different times? Now, I know my children, <coughs> excuse me, two of which have um, autism. I'm not going to do well if one is going in and the other is not. Um, I know before Christmas when they were ill over and over and over with, with hindsight very similar symptoms to COVID but that's another story um they were anyway they were ill they had sky high temperatures and coughs and they were terribly terribly ill the whole school was and I know Will was off one day and Bella was used to go into school and she was beside herself just beside herself and she wasn't like 100% anyway so we ended up keeping them both off so I know they're not going to cope well. Some of them go in and some of them not. Other than Zara, of course, who would only be going in half days anyway. And are they going to keep nursery in? I don't know. It's not compulsory education. So it's kind of a different thing. They used to go into school without Zara. They're not used to go without each other. So how will it look? This is what I want to know. How will it look? Will it be... Will they all be in half days and stagger start times? Like, by how much so does that mean we've got to come home in between start times? Or do we just hang around at school? How is it going to look? And I understand that this whole thing, I mean, the whole country's had to change overnight, over and over again, hasn't it? And I would not like to be a political decision maker at the moment. <laughs> trying to figure out how to put these policies in place and just make them happen overnight you know, hats off to them. Um, not. It's not something I'd want to be doing. So I want to know how the structure day is going to look. I want to know how the timetable is going to look. I want to know how on earth social distancing with little ones is going to look. I mean, I know Zara's just like a manager. William's year group might be a little bit better. Eight-year-olds, so eight-year-olds, can keep eight-year-olds apart? Probably not. Bella's year group, probably not a chance. She's only five. So within their bubble, you have to just have to accept they're all going to basically be legging each other. And I'm okay with that. Bella's almost caterpillar. So the truth is, are we going to find that school? It's going to depend on the plan. It's going to depend on more information. And I just urge you, before making your decision, to just get all the information about how it's going to look for your child. Um, by all accounts, um, I've spoken to Ballard's teacher about this um, when they phoned did like a check-in thing. I'm on my next Before caterpillar. the children do go back to school, well, they're going to put videos and things thing out for them to look thing. at, now which I really hope your child's school's doing this, if not, please so suggest it, so they can show the children round the classrooms. This is really important for children with autism, but I say it's important for all children, um, and it's kind of like a social story thing. So social stories are a way of explaining things to children before they happen, so that when they happen, they make the music. So a very loose way of explaining things to children. I often find you showing them Peppa Pig. So before we go to the dentist, I show them an episode of Peppa Pig and the dentist or whatever, and it just explains roughly what's going to happen. So the school are going to do their own kind of versions of these about this is how the day will look in order to prepare the children. Because I think when they walk in and perhaps if there's like not things on the walls and there's no sand and there's no Play-Doh and there's no soft furnishings and things, it's going to look a bit weird. And obviously the day structure is going to be different. So I'm hoping that this kind of information you know to prepare the children for what to expect baby, when baby. they get to school like, will really no, help them and i think it will help to reassure us as parents no, to know what we're sending them into and i want no, to add to this and just say that the most important thing is you are not influenced 
when making your decision one. by other people. So it doesn't matter what I'm going to do with my children or what Brenda on the road is going to do with her children or what your mother thinks or anything. Whether you want to send your children to school or you want to keep them home, there should be no judgment from anybody. You need to do what's best for your family. So if your children need to go to school because you have to go to work, that's right for your family. If you feel you are not ready to send them to school, that is fine. That is right for your family. You keep them home and home at school them for a bit longer. That is working for you. Are you sure you might not be The most important thing, is what I'm going to do, when I figure out what that is, so you, you have just to do quick. what's right for your family. And the only way you can do you that is finish. arm yourself with all the information and then not care what anyone else thinks. And just go with your own gut. It. Let me know down in the comments if your children already started back to school. Mm -hmm. Are they I being invited to start it back soon? What is that looking? Like? How are you anyway, feeling? What's your gut anyway, telling yeah. you? Are you going to do it? Are you not? And do you feel under pressure to send them or not send them by someone else? Are you feeling that pressure? I'm done. I would love to know because I reckon a lot of people but are going to make this decision on peer pressure. You really should not feel guilty about whatever you're doing. I mean, I kept my children off school the week the pandemic started. I kept them home on the Monday and I heard people thinking I was crazy. And by the Friday, the whole world had gone to poop. The whole world had gone to poop and I was like, okay, you know, I understand. But I was worried about being judged, if I'm honest, for making that decision to keep the children off. And I only made that decision because that's what my gut told me to do. So I'm saying follow your gut. Anyway, I am now going to attempt to do a little bit of work because I didn't get up and do any early this morning and I'm a little bit beyond. Okay, on my to-do list today, and I am actually going to put my glasses on. I, I'm not especially short-sighted, but I do find... Well, it's dirty, honestly, I do find that if... I wear glasses while I work at the Mama computer. I don't get any headaches, which is kind of cool. You're done, you're done, you're done. Oh, those are just so beautiful. They are so beautiful. Right, mummy's gonna help you fold them now. I'll help you do that and then I'll do some work then. Will you cut across there for mummy? And cut, the, so, sort of separate the two caterpillars. Will you do that for mummy? Right, good. excellent. You are very good. Maybe Bella will help you with yours anyway. Anyway. What have I got to get done today on my list for today? Yeah. Um, I've got a video going out tonight because it's Thursday, so it's one of my upload days, which is my kitchen tour. So that's already filmed, it's already scheduled, it's already uploaded, but I've got to check that all the links and things are in it. I've got to check all the end cards and all the little bits and the tags and the description, you know. Basically all the stuff that you don't really care about, but that tells YouTube who to show it to, and that you probably notice if it wasn't there. Like if it didn't have a thumbnail and that bit, that sort of stuff, and it didn't have all the links in the description to all the things I'm talking about. That you guys like to have so i've got to get that done um i've got to do a little bit of editing on my what we eat in a week video because if i don't stay on top of that i'm gonna have a whole ton of footage to edit at the end so i need to make sure i do that and then i've just got to like get through my emails and things um, and i've got some stuff to do on my blog as well but first i am going to clean these monkey glasses so i can actually see through them come on girls let's see these expanding caterpillars can you make him get bigger? Yay! Oh, they're really good, Gillies. Small than this. Well done. Well done. Bye. Bit of home learning done. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of a clean up before we go outside for a little bit of a play. What's I'm that? going to try cleaning the stairs with this. Now it's supposed to be for getting a pet fur off. It is for cleaning things. This is supposed to be for cleaning pet fur, but I don't know if you've noticed, we've all got quite a lot of long hair. So most of the the mess on the carpet is hair which really clogs the hoover so i'm gonna try cleaning the stairs with this and see how much human fur we manage to get off now apparently all you do is brush in the direction of this arrow thing So this disgusting gunky brush thing. Apparently now, I mean, God, I can get the worst of that off of my hand, but ugh, gross. Ugh, seriously. Put it in here, and then that cleans. Huh, clever. So that cleans the brush, and then all the gunk comes out 
Oh, that was all over my stairs. So, well, that's kind of cool though. That's kind of cool. I'm liking that. That is, that is quite a cool little gadget for a quick job on the stairs or something. I can do that when like the children are sleeping without any kind of noise. So if you do have pets, probably give one of those a go. Or you've just got a lot of humans with very long hair. Because to be honest, other than my husband who has, whose hair is this long, everyone else has got quite long hair in this family. So, kind of liking that, and it's pink. Anyway, I'll link that below. But that's my kind of, my little Amazon pickup this week that I wanted to try. I'm quite pleased with. Now I think it's time to take the children outside. They've worked really well this morning. We worked a bit longer than we normally perhaps would. So rather than kind of doing focused learning block one and stopping at half past 10, we've kind of gone on a bit and I think we're just gonna bin off number two because we did a bit more in the morning. They've worked through most of their tasks that the children, they've been set from school. And we're just gonna merge that playtime and lunch and let's just go and have a little picnic. I am starting to think that this picnic has I did is not the best. I don't know if you can see how goosebumpy my legs are, but it's like, it's it here. Uh, We've been used to some nice warm weather the last few weeks, haven't we? So I think we're just going to let them have a little run around and they can eat inside. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go and get some leggings and socks and jumpers and coats. Lunchtime, and the children have got some ham sandwiches with best of both bread. This is my compromise. I would rather buy brown bread, but my husband and the children whinge about that, so that's a good compromise. Then we've got some carrot sticks, some apple slices, and some cocktail sausages, which Zara likes to call cocktails. Mummy, can I have a cocktail? Zara's just gone down for a nap, and the middle two are playing in Will's room. So I'm gonna get some work done, but before I do, um, I just wanted to kind of update you. Just heard from the school a little update saying that uh, the children obviously will be going back in line with the Welsh Government. We're not under any obligation to send them and school will not look as normal. It will not be what the children are used to it will not be like full normal school it will it is keeping in touch days and there are only going to be four of them so the children are only going to be in one day a week and there's also no clarification yet as to whether zara as in the nursery because it's not full-time compulsory education will even be invited back so i feel like this changes it a bit it's gone from hey all the children are going back to school and i know like only a third of the school at a time i was thinking maybe a cup of days a week but obviously that doesn't really add up does it but now when you kind of break it down into it's only four days it's like now it's sort of like well for the sake of four days is it really worth the risk when we mostly have to home educate them anyway but then part of me is thinking well if like they said on the news it was going to potentially continue this way in september then we may as well but then what will be what will have changed by september i don't know i mean i don't anticipate there being a vaccine i think i just I think nobody knows. Um, I feel like this is a really impossible decision to make. I kind of feel like it would be worth sending them in for the four weeks if they were in most of the time, but only one day a week, so only four days. I don't know. I don't know what to do. And the school will want an answer by Sunday because it would be given us a form to fill in. I'm leaning towards, is it worth it? But I don't know. So do let me know in the comments, are you struggling with this decision like I am or is it really quite cut and dry and easy for you? Do you, you know, are your children back already? How's he finding it? Maybe it's not as bad as everyone thinks. And like, maybe it's just like one of those unknown things, like when your children start school for the first time and you think, oh, like when Zara started school, remember when I did that vlog and she started school and that was only the 3rd of February. I was devastated. I thought she was gone for good. And then all this happened, didn't it, in March? Struggling to know what to do, if I'm honest. Ready, Zara? Yeah. Clunk. You ready? You haven't been in the car for such a long time, have you? So Zara and I are in the car. I think my husband drove this last because I can barely reach the pedals. Off to get her immunizations, which are super, super important. Well, Apparently, there is a massive. I have got many cherries and fruity stars to keep you happy. She doesn't know what's coming. I feel really guilty for putting her through this. I just know it's for the best. The massive drop in the amount of people 
taking their children for immunizations at the moment and apparently measles is a bigger risk at the moment to under fives than coronavirus which is really scary so i just feel like as much as it's a risk to have to go and do this it's a bigger risk not to get the immunization so if you are thinking should i should i not speak to your surgery see how they can do it safely we are going to go and do this in the car park i'm not going in but it's really important she gets that jab i really do believe that if we can this is the best way we can protect our children because let's face it you don't want to end up with measles in hospital and then getting coronavirus because oh too scary we have just arrived at the surgery and I'm gonna just give them a ring now and say that we're here and I'm gonna ask them to come out because I don't feel comfortable taking her in. And they did say they can do this in the car park. So, must admit, it's, it's just a bit weird and nerve wracking seeing other people, isn't it? So, it's strange, it's strange, strange times. And this is making me nervous, but this is the right thing to do. The benefits are outweighing the risks. I've spoken to them. They said the surgery's empty. We could go in if we want. And I said, uh, no, thank you. We'll stay here. So <laughs> they're sending somebody out. And we're going to be super quick. And then we can go home. Can't we? And look what mummy's got for when you're a good girl. Yeah? Yeah. Yay. You're going to be such a good girl, aren't you? Yeah. That girl looks for the best. You always feel a bit guilty, don't you? Mm. So that went really, really well. Zara was a very brave girl. They came outside, they were all masked and gowned and gloved and like with the visors and everything. So that was well worth doing, not nearly as scary as we thought. Are they fixing people? Yes. Zara, you were so brave. You were so brave. So brave. And now you've got protection from all the germs. Isn't that good? So what do we say? If you like this video, please hit the subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to it's like, subscribe and the bell and to be notified and when you post new videos every Tuesday, Tuesday Thursday, Monday. Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. Okay. <laughs> My latest video is across here and across here. another video that you might like is down here. Down say bye-bye. Bye-bye.